Thank you so much, Chair. Ms. Skye, if I could come back to you. You talked about in your presentation the, the importance of governance systems, which you just gave an excellent answer on human rights and how those are connected. Uh, but I just, I wanna talk about, if you could talk about, I should say, governance systems and how they impact trafficking of persons. Uh, but you also talked about trafficking of adoption. So I'm just wondering if you could talk about those, the governance systems, the undermining of those governance systems and how it relates to the human trafficking today. Yeah, I think this is really important because I think that, you know, Canada has really lacked and not uh, been uh, advancing uh, strong policy around many different forms of trafficking. And oftentimes other jurisdictions in the world have had to enact policy in, in reaction to Canada not having strong pop program services legislation because women from this country are being found in other parts of the world. Um, and so that's what um, international organizations have started to, you know, have a little bit more well-developed uh, policies or, or programs. And so- Brittany, could you lift your uh, mic oh, up? Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. So um, I think it's important to remember that, you know, so that's why I became in, um, involved with the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, because they look at many different forms of trafficking, whether it's people who are being trafficked uh, across um, borders for the purposes of terrorism, children being uh, trafficked for the purposes of adoption, um, or the way that, um, people might consider the child welfare system uh, as it exists in Canada that has seen Indigenous children um, continue to be um, adopted by non-Indigenous families removed from their communities and that being the only kind of way that they can um, be placed into what's deemed as like an appropriate family as a form of trafficking um, but also the way that trafficking has impacted Canada and child trafficking specifically um, Canada for a long time maintained um, a program called Home Children, where children from Europe were brought to Canada to populate Canada and po specifically populate um, Western provinces um, in order to bolster, um, you know, the Canadian population, the settler population here. And actually about 12% of Canadians are descendants from this program. And so there's a really um, you know, we need to think about what those um, historical kind of contextual pieces are, um, but also the way that the legacy of them continue to form and shape the policies that we have today, because there's a direct um, policy law um, line from, you know, the legislation that was developed by Canada in the 1800s, the 1920s, uh, through the 1920s, that were um, inherently racist and discriminatory towards Indigenous people. You know, legacies of the Gradual Civilization Act and, and such. 